everyone and welcome back to Cyprusis. So today we are diving into the world of Odoo 17 and exploring its time of management features. We learn how to request time off and a location request, ensuring a smooth and efficient process for both employees and managers. So Odoo 17 basically offers a centralized platform for managing employee time off. Now this includes requesting vacation, sick leads, personal days and other predefined leave types. So first of all, I'll just log out as Michelle Littman and then let me log in as Dem. Okay, so logging in as Mark Demo. Okay, so here, as you all know, we can see the time of module. So here's the time of module. And the first thing which I'm going to do is requesting time off. Okay. So this can basically be done from the dashboard that is just by clicking on new here you can request for a time off okay or simply from my time off okay from my time off you can just go to the menu my time off and from there you can click on the new icon okay so there are two ways of creating time off so first of all we are going to fill out the request form okay so first we have the time off type so you have to select the appropriate leave type from the drop down menu. So you have this paid time off, sick time off, unpaid, training time off, whatever it is. So you can choose one. So I'm just choosing paid time off. Okay. And then you have this dates. So on which date you are planning to take a leave. So let it be 16 and just for a day. Okay, so based on the dates which we give, the requested days or hours will be calculated, whether it's one day, two day, three day, whatever it is. So you have to choose the start and end days from your, I mean, for your desired time off and the duration will automatically be calculated based on the select dates. Then you have the description where you can provide a brief explanation for your leave request. Okay, once you're done, you have to save it and this is actually submitted. Now you can see the status as to approve. Okay. So the status is to approve when the time off is confirmed by user. Once it is confirmed by the, that is the approved by the, you know, admin, then it will change to approved. Okay. So the time off type is paid time off and this is created by Mark Demo. So you can track your request. Okay. So if you go to my time off, okay, and just expand this. Okay, you can see the status as to approve or approve whatever it is. So we have created a paid time off. Okay, so here you will see if your request is pending, approved or rejected. So next comes the manager approvals. So the manager basically receives a notification for submitting time of request. Now they can review the request details and either approve or reject it within the platform. Okay, so for that, let's log out as Mark Demo and I'm logging in as Michelle Edmund. So here I'm logging in. Okay. So once the logging in is done, let's open the time off module. Here we have the time off and go to my time off. Okay. Where you have all the time offs. You can see my allocations. Okay. So there are different time off requests. Okay. So here you have the management where you can see the time off. Now this is the time off which we created right now. Okay. So here you can see time off as well as allocations. So here is the time off which we created. So that has come. That is Mark Demo has created a time off request. That request has appeared here. And you can see the status as to approve. So this admin can either approve it or refuse it. Okay. So I am approving it. Okay. That is approved. And then you have the option to validate it. So I'm validating it. So that's validated and that request has been approved. Okay. So the request has been approved. Now, if you go back to this mark demo. So I'm changing it to demo. Logging in. Okay. So let's open time off. And if you go to my time off. Expand it. You can see this has been approved. So before we've approved it, it was in to approve state. Okay, now this is approved. So there might be cases where you may, you might run out of allocated time of these. So this is where this allocation request come in. So requesting an allocation is similar to requesting time off. 
So you can request additional time off by clicking the new allocation request button on the time off dashboard. Okay, so here we have the time off overview. Sorry, let's open it once again. So here you have the time off dashboard. And here in the dashboard, you can see, I mean, just by clicking on the new allocation, you can see my allocations. So I'm going to create a new allocation. So here you can see allocation request. So what you have to do is you have to fill out the allocation request. So allocation request form allows you to specify the desired number of days and, you know, like number of additional days and a brief explanation for your request. So here you can add the reason. The validity period can be set from here. Okay, so I'm just adding the time of type. So let it be compensatory days. And then you have the validity period. Okay. Once it's done, the allocation hours is given here. So if you want to change it to 24, then that is changed. So whatever the allocation hours is that you can change. So for an actual allocation, this field contains the theoretical amount of time given to the employees due to a previous start date on the first run of the plan. This can be manually edited. So once you fill out all these allocations, you can simply submit it. It is the request is submitted. Now this is to approve state. Okay, so once completed, submit the request for your manager's review. So this has been given to the manager's review. You, you can see new allocation request created by Mark Demo, three days of compensatory days. So you can either mark it as done, edit or cancel. Okay, so this is what uh, it goes for Michelle Edmin, who is the admin. Okay, now let's go to the admin page. Let's log out. And I'm logging in as Michelle Edmin again. So let's wait and once it's done, you can open the time off module. Here you have the management where you have the allocations. So you can see the allocation request which was given by Mark Demo. Okay, the status is to approve. So either you can validate it or refuse it. So I'm validating it and that became approved. Now let's go to Mark Demo and check what the status there is. Going to Mark Demo, logging in. Okay, and then you have the time off module over here. Open that. And from here, if you just take a look at my allocations, you can see the status has been approved. Okay, so this is how the approving takes place from the manager side as well as the uh, a normal employee side. Okay, so there are a lot of benefits of using this time of management. You basically have a streamlined process. You will get increased transparency and you have this improved communication, okay? So that's it uh, for time of management in Odoo 17. So by utilizing these features, you can ensure a smooth and organized approach to employee leave requests and allocation. So I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.